So imagine a cube six miles across deep and high, and that's how much lava came out. There's this 100-foot horizontal crack along a rock wall at Grand Teton. It emerged recently, and park officials fear it may be connected to the supervolcano located nearby. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Yellowstone volcano eruption has already begun. Is the devastating Yellowstone volcanic eruption already happening? Experience one of nature's most fascinating shows alongside renowned astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson as he explores the mysterious world of volcanic activity. A supervolcano, a hidden force of nature that has the ability to cover the United States in ash and hurl the world into a volcanic winter, is buried underneath Yellowstone National Park, one of the most magnificent national parks in the United States. Although researchers have dedicated a significant amount of time and effort to studying Yellowstone supervolcano, the fact of the matter is that there is not much that can be done to prevent a future eruption of the supervolcano. The assumption that scientists have depended on is that humanity will have centuries to prepare for the deadly eruption of Yellowstone supervolcano once it begins to rumble and its magma chambers begin to fill. Recent research has shown, however, that the rate at which the volcano can fill its magma chamber and erupt is on the order of a few decades. This indicates that the volcano might potentially erupt at any time. The reason why Yellowstone National Park, home to one of the most famous natural wonders in the world, was suddenly closed to the public and cut off from the rest of the world is a mystery that has left tourists and nature lovers perplexed. The abrupt closing has created a flood of inquiries surrounding the reason for this unprecedented decision, which is unprecedented in and of itself. Yellowstone has always been a symbol of untamed beauty, and as a result, it receives millions of people each year. Yellowstone is known for its geothermal wonders as well as its rich species. Natural disasters and covert government efforts are two of the many hypotheses that have been put forward to explain the shutdown. Fearing an imminent eruption of the supervolcano that lays dormant beneath the park's surface, some theories suggest that seismic activities or volcanic unrest might be the cause behind the park's closure. This theory is based on the assumption that the supervolcano is still active beneath the park's surface. Others have hypothesized that mysterious events or perhaps activities from extraterrestrial sources could be responsible for the shutdown. Even while formal statements have not yet been made, there is no denying that the shutdown has piqued the attention of scientists, conspiracy theorists, and members of the general public. It has also spurred fierce disputes. As people all over the world wait impatiently for answers, the shroud of secrecy that has been surrounding Yellowstone National Park has become even thicker, forcing us to speculate about the real reason that this incredible occurrence happened. The world-famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has recently shifted his focus from the cosmos to another wonder of nature, Yellowstone National Park. Tyson's statement provokes deep contemplation by implying that the park's seemingly idyllic exterior conceals deeper mysteries. Yellowstone's geothermal features, such as the famous Old Faithful Giza, have long captivated scientists and tourists alike. But Tyson's view goes beyond the park's surface charm and explores the mysteries. Tyson uses his scientific knowledge to hint at possible geological phenomena simmering beneath Yellowstone's placid exterior. He speculates that the park is on the verge of experiencing major upheaval due to factors such as volcanic activity and seismic shifts. Tyson, as an astronomer, has unique insights into Yellowstone's secrets. His speculations may cause some to scoff, but they also inspire interest and motivate research. Tyson's theories serve as a reminder that even in our own backyard, incredible secrets may be waiting to be unearthed, as scientists continue to explore the park's dynamic nature. Located mostly in Wyoming, Yellowstone National Park is a breathtaking wilderness that is home to an incredible variety of geothermal wonders. Located on the Yellowstone caldera, this park is home to a wide variety of geological wonders such as geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. Old Faithful, a geyser famous for its predictable outbursts that send water and steam high into the air, is the park's most famous feature. But Old Faithful is just one of several geysers in the park, and each one has its own character and routines for erupting. Thermophiles, or heat-loving bacteria, provide the vivid colors seen in hot springs like the Grand Prismatic Spring. These springs are a living example of a surprising variety of organisms that can survive in harsh environments. Muck pots swirl and bubble like cauldrons of thick, grayish muck at high heat. 
the billowing clouds of steam and gases emitted by fumaroles are a striking reminder of the ferocity of the volcanic processes under the surface. Geothermal features in Yellowstone National Park show visitors how the Earth is constantly evolving. They are a reminder of the immense geological processes at work on Earth and the delicate beauty that results from those processes. The massive Yellowstone supervolcano and its accompanying geothermal activities are a breathtaking natural phenomenon. An enormous caldera covering a wide area, it can be found at Yellowstone National Park. Hot springs, geysers, and fumaroles are just some of the geothermal phenomena that lay beneath its placid exterior and serve as a continual reminder of the powerful geological processes at work. The supervolcano in the area is restless, as evidenced by the frequent occurrence of minor earthquakes. These earthquakes are signs of the tremendous power hidden beneath the surface of the planet. The Yellowstone supervolcano may be inactive, but the power it may unleash is constantly reminded by the little but frequent earthquakes that occur there. To better comprehend the inner workings of this geological marvel, scientists keep a constant eye on the geothermal activity and seismic events. Scientists hope to better forecast future volcanic activity and understand volcanic processes by examining these phenomena. The Yellowstone supervolcano continues to captivate researchers and tourists as evidence of the incredible geological forces that form our world. To better understand volcanoes, scientists use cutting-edge monitoring equipment like seismometers, GPS devices, and gas detection stations. These instruments are crucial for studying the characteristics and risks of volcanic activity. Seismometers detect and quantify ground vibrations brought on by volcanic tremors and earthquakes, providing invaluable information on magma movement and pressure buildup inside the volcano. Changes in the volcano's shape and elevation can be tracked because of GPS devices' ability to detect even the most minute ground deformations. This data is useful for locating potentially volcanic regions and predicting volcanic eruptions. Insights into the subterranean activities of a volcano can be gained through the use of gas monitoring stations, which analyze the composition and concentration of gases produced by the volcano. Scientists can improve early warning systems and make more informed decisions about volcanic dangers by combining data from existing monitoring systems. With the ability to detect any abnormal patterns or signals that may indicate an oncoming eruption, continuous monitoring allows for essential time for evacuation, reducing the risk to lives and property. In the end, these cutting-edge monitoring technologies aid in expanding our knowledge of volcanoes and reducing the damage caused by volcanic eruptions. Volcanic gas emissions reveal vital information on the nature of the volcano's internal processes and its potential for future eruptions. As magma rises to the surface, it releases gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and other chemicals. Scientists may learn a lot about a volcano's health by studying the gases it emits and how their composition, production rate, and seasonal fluctuations change over time. Changes in gas composition and emission rates can be used as markers of activity within the magmatic system beneath a volcano. A rise in sulfur dioxide emissions, for instance, could indicate the presence of a shallow magma chamber or the ascent of new magma. Volcanic dangers, such as the release of hazardous gases or the possibility of explosive eruptions, can be better understood with the aid of gas emission monitoring. Volcanologists can create baseline measurements by keeping an eye on gas emissions, and any unusual changes can alert them to an approaching eruption. Improved eruption forecasts and hazard assessments are possible when gas data is combined with that gathered from other monitoring methods, such as seismicity and ground deformation. Understanding volcanic processes and reducing volcanic dangers necessitates research into gas emissions. Catastrophic effects from a super-eruption in Yellowstone National Park could be felt far beyond the park's borders. The emission of large quantities of volcanic ash into the atmosphere is one of the most concerning results. Fine particles of shattered rock and glass make up this ash, which can rise to extreme altitudes and travel great distances, posing a serious threat to global weather patterns. A big eruption of a volcano can release a massive amount of ash into the atmosphere, which can block out the sun and cool the planet. The disruption of photosynthesis due to a decrease in solar radiation can reduce agricultural yields and increase the risk of food shortages. In addition, the ash particles can react with atmospheric moisture to produce acid rain, which in turn can damage ecosystems, taint water sources, and have significant effects on human health. 
the widespread effects of a Yellowstone super eruption highlight the critical importance of preparation and monitoring. Volcanic activity in the park is constantly monitored by scientists and authorities for warning signals of an impending eruption. Safeguarding our environment and ensuring the well-being of global ecosystems and communities can be achieved by an awareness of and preparation for the potentially catastrophic effects of such catastrophes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this eruption, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.